very soon we will have repercussions of these things. We have already seen what happened to Brian Chira. TikTok played a role in us losing Brian. TikTok played a big role because we enabled his al alcohol consum consumption. Down. And if it shut down, if it shuts down, the better. So that people can go back to their normal livelihood. It is not normal. It is crazy. I pity people raising young kids now. Other teenagers near Fadali. And our teenagers too. They have all, they have they are already hooked up into this internet world. Me, I hardly talk to my kids. Kila mtu wakona PS5 yake kwa rumi yake. Kila mtu wakona iPhone yake kwa rumi yake. Tukikutana ni sazile unaita mtu. Kuja uchukwe chakula. Hmm? So mimi leo, I woke up, I felt guilty. Hai ni kambia mtu iwangu, ibu kuja unihagi kabla uende shule. I just want to start developing some relationship with my kids. When I come from Africa, I'm going to dedicate more of myself to my kids. Hmm? It is time we put these gadgets down and dedicate our lives to these kids, guys. Chine do hai. Chine do uwa naya anaka live the whole day, night. And then she wakes up in the morning, she's, the, she's in the office. Sijui, I don't know, even your young blood generation, as we used to spend our lives in the disco, dancing to the morning uh, glory. Ukitoka hapo umebeba mbabas, unanyanduliwa. Anyway, generation yangu at least to me enjoy. Hii generation mutawazea online. I swear, hii generation itawazea online. Alafu mchainis, ame, ame, ame leta nini? Hii kitu ati, ati, ati unatumiwa manigan. Hmm? You don't have to go out and work. Ukikatu kwa screen hivi, unapata mapato yako. We, 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 will, we will even melt online. And then, this young generation, we are going to develop a lot of throat cancer cases. Hmm? Throat cancer cases. I don't know how many hospitals we have that is ready to take care of throat cancer cases that are going to arise in the next 10 years. Young people, we are going to have a lot of people suffering from throat cancer because of shouting. There is only a certain amount that your throat can maintain. Yeah. UDP, good morning. <laughs> UDP, ulinibrashia meno jana na lion. Thank you. Eh? Farid Pia Akaniambia good night with the lion Hey Rose Pia Akanipatia jet hmm? Yesterday was a lovely day Thank you Yeah He's shouting guys He's shouting tap 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 the screen Tap 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 the screen Tap 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 the screen Mutasema nyako ako jealous Yes I am jealous This is why I'm talking about this but we are going to have a big problem in the next 10 years of young people wengine watazibika throat wengine wata develop throat problems everything ikona effect yake anything that ikona advantage lazima ikona disadvantage e up ni mzuri sana but we are going to have a lot of fatal medical health issues in the coming years. The effect it acquires slowly but mutaskia. So young generation 
hii ni app imekuja kutum hebu acha nijitoe ju mimi siko siko hata huko young generation e app it is very good but at the same time it is very dangerous mtafakari mm mtafakari mtafakari in e app we are going to have divorce tunaenda kuluzu watoto wetu we don't have time anymore for our kids anyway eh uh, relationships mingi zinaenda ku break family relationships cause young generation wanafanya vitu impossible online how many people have walked away since my 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 my, my video was leaked ya kuma yangu how many people i have known for years how many people how many relationships did did that video damage those are relationships that will i will never i don't even have i i cannot even explain how did that video end up online na mimi kama mama ako na kilitima how did you start videoing your private part to a stranger you've never met so we are going to lose relationships with the people we love people who loved us it has happened to me so i can talk about it we are going to lose our kids we are going to have fatal fatal consequences because of social media But i can only talk about it i cannot advise anybody not to do to do these things because everyone is already addicted to the social media especially e to kondani so I can only comment. I'm just commenting. I'm not advising anybody to do anything about what is happening around us. Munaona pastors are literally going crazy because there are lions that people are looking for. So any if a pastor can go to an to any extent to get that lion. So we are also even losing our churches. We are that congregation that depends on somebody to preach for us to show us direction and we are we are we are even losing the church itself so the consequences of this app is die we are living in a ticking time bomb i don't know when it is going to explode it is going to explode at some point I don't know how long but it is going to definitely explode. This is not like Enziza Sodom and Gomorrah where God used to answer us directly apana. This e age tunaenda kujimaliza sisi wenyewe by our deeds and god is going to make sure that man mankind finishes themselves with the things they are doing yeah munaona the ozone layer is almost impossible ndio kwa maana wanaangalia vile wanaweza ku reduce watu katika hii dunia so kuna tu njia sisi wenyewe tunaenda kujimaliza without even god reacting mungu god is just seated in some corner mm, smiling at 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 our behavior mm? he doesn't need to react like those days of noah those days of abraham those days of israelites where he will send uh, fire he will send i don't know flood no This is our fire. Yep. This is our fire. Indio musho yetu. Yep. 
Hii ndio mwisho wetu. I had some pastor saying TikTok ni ya ushetani. How how come all of a sudden only TikTok imekuwa ya ushetani? And we are, we also have other social media. We have Instagram, we have Facebook. We have a lot of social media that nobody is talking about. The only different difference between social, uh, TikTok and other social media is quick money. Yeah, you do your live, they send you your money gun, you go with it immediately. That is the only difference. So there is no way a pastor will stand on a camera and say TikTok ni aushitani. No. All social medias. Eh? Mmeona siku hizi watu wanadinywa mpaka na mapunda, madogi, manini. It is very normal. We have lost it. We have just lost it. Very normal. I don't agree that TikTok ni ya ushetani. I don't agree with that. You can be on TikTok and still be responsible if you want to. Yeah, so TikTok sio ya ushetani vile watu wanasema. And uh, I believe ebu kuna vitu zingine sitasema jua zinihusu. Everybody should behave how they want on 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 social media platform. Yeah. Just behave how you want. It is not my business. Lakini hii app ndio mwisho yetu. Hii app TikTok ndio number 1 kutumaliza sisi binadamu. Umeona umesikia hiyo jina imepewa? Ni 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 ni, ni. time. It's just a matter of time. It is a moving clock that is gonna stop at some point. It will stop. It will stop. Oh yes, it will stop. So guys, I wish you a beautiful morning. Mimi nilitaka tu kuwasalimia. Sina mengi. Hmm. Zahira, good morning. Yes. And you, as you can see, I don't come online the way I used to. I don't. I come one hour. Kama ni mingi sana, two hours. And unless ni kuna kitu muimu sana, na ezaka four hours. Otherwise, I have disciplined myself. I go to bed early. I wake up early. Pesa ito shangi. This money, it will never be enough. You will chase it and keep it in the bank and come back and chase it and keep it in the bank and come back and at some point, utasikia ni kama your head is going round and round. Ni kama unasinzia. Ni kama you are not in this real world because you are do, overdoing everything. And at the end of the day, how important is that money you are collecting than your health? Muta sema niko jealous. Oh yes, I am very jealous. How important is that money you are collecting? Ukotuna mdomo ndogo, na mkundu kadogo, na tumbo kadogo. You can only eat a certain amount of food and go to bed. You cannot eat the whole world. Maybe tomorrow is not promised. You will not wake up. You have worked so hard. You have sweated. You have collected. Imebaki kwa bank. Somebody else who didn't even deserve your sweat is gonna chop it. Small, small. Small, small. Young people, I'm not saying stop looking for money. But look for this money responsibly. It is not running away. It is not running away. 
very soon we will have repercussions of these things. We have already seen what happened to Brian Chira. TikTok played a role in us losing Brian. TikTok played a big role because we enabled his al alcohol consum consumption. We made it possible for him to buy that drink. By the time Brian alikuwa nakufa, alikuwa meshaf kuzo mpaka shule. Because he, he could not keep up with kukunywa na kuenda shule at the same time. And you know, the more you drink, the more you become irresponsible. Hmm? Na unajua, pia kuna hii dawa ya unakunywa usilale. Kuna hizi dawa watu kunywa to stay awake the whole night. So, hizo pia ni drugs. Long term consum consumption of such things might end up fatal. Hata Viagra, ukikunywa sana, uwe inafika time, inakulemea unadedi. There is only a certain amount of drugs the body can take. Too much of it is fatal, ends up fatal. I am just commenting on the whole situation. I'm not advising anybody. Mimi ni mesota. Mimi ni kuna wivu. I am the most jealous woman on TikTok platform. I am just commenting. And I am not commenting targeting anybody. In fact, Mimi, conversation yangu is focusing on Americans. The things happening in America are scary. Very scary. And social media has played a huge role on our behavior. Social media. Imagine somebody selling nude, nude yamwanamke, because they are going to be paid for it. That is our moral. Our moral has dropped to zero. Somebody will go tell you, go and video your parents and bring, bring it to me. I'm going to give you $10,000 and make sure you do it. And you, are, you will video your parents having sex. You will put on a camera in their bedroom. Privately, they don't know. You will video them and you, will, you are going to sell that video to the internet world. Now, kule $10,000 yako, na maisha yendele. And the world will laugh at your parents and make it, normalize it. We are living in the end times. Let us pray. Let us turn to God. It is very sad. I believe God is heartbroken when he looks on us He is very heartbroken. Let us be responsible, guys. We have, we have lost so many people on social media. I know a few people when you are mediua, you are social media. I, I think I am the, 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 the strongest of them all to have said no to Kujiwa. And I, I am a very, I have disappointed so many people that were eyeing, eyeing to come to my graveyard. I have disappointed so many Kenyans. Wale waliko wanangoja siku ya mazishi. Kuvangu was a black. Kukuja kusema pole kwa watoto wangu. Oh, it will be okay. Don't worry. Oh, Robin, our handsome baby boy. Now mama is gone. 
just be responsible and take care of your young ones. Eh, don't worry. The people who participated. Eh? I am the strongest bullied victim that has remained alive. Sikufi, nimekata. Sikufi. I am the most stubborn one. Kula kuna wale walipanga kukuja na petrol na kiberiti. Kuna wale wanauliza, kwa nini ya jiuwa bado? I thought alikuwa na jiuwa. Kwani kwa ni umu wana mke bado wako alive? Bado wana breathe. Na vile tumemkanyaga. Kuna mwana mke, I saw a video, alisema, niko na wewe mpaka kiyama. Hakuna mimi mpaka ndani ya graveyard. Which means, this woman, she spoke life in me, and she's gonna take it away. Anytime. Aki amuka tu aseme, leo wa ufai kuishi, that is the last day I'm gonna breathe my last. Me, I'm serving a living God. Maisha angu wata imeshinda waganga. Niliwambianga mimi nilienda kwa mganga, akakata kunitibu. Nilikuwa natafuta mzungu. Akanambia mimi siyezi kukutibu. And he never gave me a reason. Kwa nini ya wezi kunitibu. Nimeshinda mpaka mganga. Sasa wewe ni nani? You come and speak death on my life. Ati akona mimi mpaka kifu. Mpaka anizike. And it is not only one woman I've had that. There is one also I had uh, saying... Nyako nitamlipia watu wa mbuli mpaka ndani ya grevi yake akisha zikwa Na God ata make sure huyu nyako mnamtaka akufe anaenda kuishi miaka na mikaka Eh Huyu nyako mnataka dead God the living God is going to make sure Nimeishi miaka na mekaka. He spoke life in me. I am his servant. I have obeyed his instructions. I am a changed person. Before God, ananijua mimi ni mtuwa inagani. And no man can speak death over what God has blessed. No man. Hakuna hata mganga hata niuwa kwa hii platform. Mi najua mapicha zangu mmezipeleka kwa waganga sana. And I'm very sure the answer is still negative. Mganga anawambia uyu siwezi muwa. Uyu muwana mke ya hezi kufa. There is something about her. I know. There are people who have tried that. I know. Mganga wezani na maisha yangu. So guys, I am the strongest living most bullied content creator on Kenyan platform that has refused that has refused to die i have refused and something that has helped me i am an i'm not alcoholic i don't drink alcohol so i cannot even think of going to hang myself somewhere because you know what i'm always sober Ingekuwa zile enzi nilikuwa na kunywa pombe, at least it could have make, made it easier for my bullies to take away my life. But I don't drink. I am 24 hours sober. Why would a sober woman just take kamba akajiuwe? Because of what? I have a good life. 
for me this is a good life a roof over my head is enough there is somebody on the streets that has has no roof over their head literally for me having a roof over your head is you have all, all you have already won challenges that comes that life life throws at you you have a warm blanket uko na sitima uko na maji uko na mali pa kukunia you to, to download your shit you have a small fireplace to cook what else does a man want in this world what is the value of life taking private jets to where and i had this the husband's interview the husband said my wife is well off there is no way my wife will take a plane to go to nigeria to look for money alienda nigeria kufanya nini she had it all but our all is not always enough Nairobi ndani ya Germany habari yako our handsome boy our our handsome boy ni watu msha notice huyu Nairobi ndani ya Germany uanga ni kijana handsome lakini i think ebu let me hold my comments for myself you are my age mate by the way the way you behave you are my age mate anyway guys the things we have will never be enough and the greatest achievement in life is contentment being contented in our situation that is all we need you don't need to be a millionaire to be happy be contented in whatever you have in whatever situation god amekuweka you are a winner you have won contentment is the answer to all our prayers you can have the whole world but you are still not contented why would a nigerian ma woman married to a white man living in dubai live for nigeria for some few coins and end up dead she was not contented with whatever she had and a human being if you do not develop a virtue of contentment you will never be satisfied in the face of the world and you cannot win the world the world is too big you cannot win the world you cannot own the world it is too big you can only have a piece of the world for a certain period of time and then you are gone the next generation will take over I want my followers to develop a virtue of contentment. Be contented in whatever situation you are in. That is the greatest achievement when you are still alive. You will never be contented when you are still alive, but you can develop the virtue of contentment. To enjoy the little things you have achieved you must not achieve the whole world to be where others are many people want to be up there i always tell you without god you are nothing zero achievement even if you hold on the old world and you do not have god in your life zero achievement zero you are an empty vessel So can we please develop a virtue of contentment greed ndio inatuua sisi binadamu greed 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 be contented and if you have friends that are telling you you are not good enough run If you have a greedy friend that want to achieve material things so easily like that Nigerian woman she had a friend 
who was a first life girl who wanted to live a life that did not belong to her and wanted her married friend to be part of that bullshit run that girl was led to her death by her girlfriend choose your friends wisely and by the way you don't need a friend hii dunia ya sasa hii dunia ya mwisho the only thing you need ni watoto wako you don't need a friend you don't need to tag your friend all along in your business it is going to end fatal in most cases na wambianga mkuwe lona bia lona kweni kama nyako hivi Muna nionanga na marafiki. You, you saw me with a few TikTok TikTok friends here. Hula balu friends. Hey! Nyako you are the best. Did it last? And I am v always very suspicious anyone trying to come close to me. Keep up friends. Me I laugh at people walking in groups on this TikTok. At <laughs> Oh! Mm, abuju buju buju buju. Abuju buju run for your life. Run for your life. Muliona, the few friends I entertained on this TikTok for a shorter period of time ended up for me disastrous. I was just an innocent content creator minding my business creating my content then boom nyako is having supporters nyako is having friends what happened to me kwanza it could have ended up in my in in my nini mimi kujiua the things that happened to me in that short period of time if i was not strong ningejiua ningejiua Ninge jiwa. I'm I'm glad that I didn't go that road. I have always walked alone for for the longest. I don't know ni shetani gani iliniingia. And I did, I started trusting people I have never met. They will preach love. They will preach loyalty. They will preach honesty. Kumbe they want you gone. And if they don't achieve that goal, you are going to end up a permanent enemy. Guys. TikTok ni shamba la wanyama. The same way our normal lives ni shamba la wanyama. Eat me or I eat you. Ama tukulane. Ni kule ama ni kukule. Ama tukulane. How many how many successful TikTokers wanna end up wameuliwa siku hizi? The trend is going up and up and up and by the way you do not need to be a successful tiktoker for somebody akuone wivu you don't have to be successful there is something about you that will always trigger people around you there is something you do not have to be very successful for people to start envying you you do not have to be up there but there is something about you that will always trigger people around you people you are close to so if you want to go higher fly like an eagle fly alone eagles they fly alone and they have the highest achievements in life an eagle flies alone always they don't they don't fly in groups So guys could develop easy characters also need a very strong person I pray that most of you will heed 
what I'm saying and do it. And you will never go wrong doing your things on your own. You will never go wrong. So thank you guys for this morning. I don't even know what I'm planning today. Kwani ndio saa moja huku kwetu? Ama. Ndio saa moja. Ai, kwani niliamka saa ngapi? What time did I wake up? 